The hippocampus is the area of the brain where learning and memory basically take place. Learning and memory, okay? Now, it's also part of the emotional system of your brain called the limbic system. So learning and memory are emotions. Do you understand me? And, the, and, and if I can trigger an emotion inside you, doesn't matter if it's sadness, anger, happy, doesn't matter what it is, whatever, if I can trigger an emotion, you'll remember what I say. That's why if you walk up to anybody in any room and say, tell me about the worst day of your life, they can instantly do it and they can tell you all the detail of that particular day. They can sit back and say, oh, it was the day my mother died. I'll never forget it. It was 10 a.m. My phone rang and they'll recant the entire day. Right? Why? Because that negative emotion burned the memory to your brain. Right? Same thing positive. If you walk up to somebody and say, tell me about the best day of your life. Boom. They can tell you that too. It was the day my son was born. And they can tell you all about it. Right? Again, because it's an emotion. Emotions are memories. That's how it builds a memory in your brain. Now, the hippocampus is also tied in with smell and hearing. Smell and hearing. Now, I'm sure you guys have experienced something like this. Have you ever walked past a person in a mall or something that was wearing the same perfume or cologne of an old boyfriend or girlfriend that you may have dated five, ten years ago, and you instantly go back to that person? Have you ever had that? You walk, you're like, oh my God, that was John 2010. He was great. Like you instantly go right back to that person, right? How come? Because memory, learning, is burned in with smell and hearing. That's why the same thing happens with an old song. If you hear an old song on the radio that you haven't heard since prom, you're like, oh my God. Uh, that, you instantly go right back to it, right? How come? Because all of this is tied into the area of the brain where learning and memory takes place. Why do I keep hating you with this? Because there's one thing that destroys this area, and that's cortisol. Cortisol, that stress hormone that is released when you're subluxated, when you have high stress, cortisol damages the area of the brain for learning and memory. Learning and memory gets damaged by cortisol because uh, the hippocampus, this area of the brain, has, is very sensitive to cortisol. All right? How many of a show of hands, how many chiropractors in this room have helped people with behavioral issues, ADHD, on any of that kind of stuff? Please, show of hands. Like, seriously, think about that for a second. Think how many people walk into your office, they're like, oh, my kid has ADHD, my kid has autism, my kid has some type of behavioral issue. The only thing you have done with them, the only thing, is you've introduced chiropractic care. You've adjusted them, and then they went home. And what happened? They got better. How come? Why is that? Because every time you adjust them, you decrease cortisol. And when you decrease cortisol, you stop the damage in the area of the brain for learning and memory. 